Hey, what's going on? This is Big Grime, and I got the MU Patch Mix software in front of me. And basically, in this video, I'm going to talk about just that. Now, I have the MU0404 sound card, the PCI sound card. And um, this uh, software actually comes with all of their interfaces and sound cards. So it could be used for all of them. But in this particular card, I only have two inputs, which would be a left and a right. Um, I'm talking through the uh, right input. And I'm using a compressor in real time. So as I'm talking, you can see the meters and everything. Now, um, which I'm sure in all the cards, um, you can use them in mono or stereo. See, I have two inputs, so I can use that as one stereo track. Or I can pan them in the middle and use it as one mono input. So I can have two mono inputs. So right now I have uh, one mono input for my voice and I could hook up another mic and have somebody else speaking through a different input. So um, I can have two tracks recording at one time in mono. Of course, if you have the other sound cards, they have uh, some that have more inputs. So that would be your way of, if you wanted, you had like a four um, input sound card, you can record four different instruments or voices at one time or you could do two stereo inputs because of course you would need two inputs to make one stereo input now um, in the effects which of course you had all you had to do is come over here and click on the FX uh, button um, I know on a 0404 sound card um, it has DSP chips like all the MU sound cards that you can run effects but if you go to a uh, new session, I'm just not going to save it. All right. I can go up to 192. All of their sound cards can go up to 192 uh, uh, resolution. But the effects does not work beyond uh, 88. So if I go to 88, 96, or 192, the effects doesn't work at all. You can't use them. But you can still use the routing features. But I just use the 44. Now, when I click over to 192, you'll notice you don't see anything. With the rest of them, you can see the different options that I can, uh, templates that I can choose. And 192 doesn't show anything. Why? Because my computer is not fast enough to handle it. I have an older computer. I mean, it does the job, but it won't even give me the option to use 192 because my computer doesn't handle it. So um, if you don't see anything, it's because your computer's too slow. All right, but these are templates. You can also save your own templates if you want to. Um, of course, default is default. You know, you can kind of build from there, but you have something if you have emulator or Proteus. You can route some of, uh, I believe you can route some of the sounds into uh, these templates. Now, um, you can use the WDM drivers or the Osseo. WDM is basically you're using the same type of drivers your computer normally would use. Um, like when I play anything off of YouTube, it plays off of this, which is the wave. That's like your WDM. Your Osseo gives you a lot more flexibility because you can have more of them. With the update, originally when the uh, sound card came out, I could only have one of these wave inputs. But now you can have two. But with Osseo, you can have, you know, 32 different inputs. And how that work is, if I'm using a DAW system, let's say if I'm using uh, a standalone... Uh, uh, soft synth and I wanted to I can have it set to only use this strip 
And let's say I have battery three, I can have battery three use this strip. So I can uh, put effects on different synthesizers by putting it on the strip. So if I got my synth right here, I can put, you know, delay. Then if I have battery on this one, I can put compression. And that's how it's used as a mixer. You got to kind of think of patch mix as a real mixer. You know, forget about that it, it's digital. So if you had a real mixer, if you plug in a keyboard, it will be on one channel strip. You can either do it mono, which is one channel strip, or stereo, where you have to hook up, you know, a left and a right to two channel strips. That's how you get your stereo. And then if you wanted to add apply effects, you had to send effects. I mean, besides the fact that you can just insert effects right here, which is pretty easy, but you also can send. So that's what we're going to talk about sends too. But basically, this would be like me plugging my keyboard into this strip right here and then my beat machine on this one and then applying effects to those strips. So that's why it's so flexible. It's kind of like you can do all these things all inside your computer without actually having to go to outputs. So, and just like for instance, I got my input right here for my mic. I got that compressor there. But let's just say if I wanted my voice to go out a digital output because you have SPDIF, which I have it right here. SPDIF is a digital input. It's not analog, but it's digital. And the thing is, it's the same way as your analog outs. So on my sound card, all I have is stereo out. I don't have it to where I can make it a mono out like I can my inputs. It's only the stereo out. One in output for left, one output for right, and that's it. But if, let's say, I had, you know, uh, a spit of uh, recorder. Let's say I had a, a, a recorder, and I want my output to go into this um, hard disk recorder, I can hook it up through spit of right here. So it doesn't automatically go out the spit of. If you just set up your patch mix, you have to set it up to go out the spit of. And this is how you do it. If you look over here, these are my sends. So let's say right here I got, let's say I right click in the box, insert a send. Now I got to put in where I want it to go out. I pick spit of. Hit OK. So now, since it's on the bottom, you got a top and a bottom. I have to go over here to where I want to send. So let's say I want to send my voice out to this bit of output. Now I have to grab this send and turn it up. So if I had, you know, let's say my Corgan 3 hooked up to um, spit of, I can now, let me turn that down because it makes my voice loud. But basically if I, when I turn that, um, that send up, it will send it straight through here to anything that's on here. So, you know, I got, you know, the Ozio 9 and 10. So if I have anything on Ozio 9 and 10, it would send my voice to that. I have the spit of output. Whatever's hooked up to my output, my voice will be sent there. So like I said, if I have my Corgan 3 hooked up to it from the output from the, my sound card to the input of my M3, I can record my voice in the M3 through that spit of. So that's how you got to look at the sends. You got to look at it as sending that input signal somewhere else. And where it's sending to, either one up top or two at the bottom. It depends on what you put in down here. You can put it in the Ozio um, input. You can put it in, like I said, the spit of, I mean, uh, Ozio output, or you can put it in a spit of output. They give you your options when you right click. You know, you can say select your output and you see all the Ozio inputs that I can select the output of the sound card or the output of the spit of. 
but it automatically pretty much sent out to your audio I mean to your analog outputs already you have to set it up that way for it will send your um, your digital spit of outputs so that's how you would set that up of course this is mute so you don't hear anything so you just mute everything um, of course you can mute and solo here's your volume you can rename the track so you know if I wanted to you know name this synthesizer name that beat machine and whatever um what else oh I know one of the biggest questions I get is as far as the way my patch mix look it looks different basically if you go to my site bigrime.net you can download the skin to this because that's what it is this is a skin um, you hit the arrow it's like a down arrow and then it's gonna ask you choose your skin you choose your different skin there now you got to go to my site and download the skin and put that file in the folder if you go to uh, whatever the folder is for the for the MU patch mix which is in creative something I can't really remember but find the find the folder that the patch mix is in the MU patch mix is in and you'll see it says a folder that says skin so you go in that folder and you place the file in there and then when you do that you should be able to go to your patch mix and look look it up by clicking on this arrow and you should see it in a list of um, your scans but that is a general overview of how to pat patch mix work but that's why it's so flexible because you have all these audio drivers and you can virtually have so many you know uh, inputs and outputs is virtual and not actually physical alright so thanks for watching hopefully this helps peace